Okay, so welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about a concept called chain defending. Well, some people call it chain defending. Um, I have completely no problem with that. It's completely correct. I also like to think of this particular concept as prioritizing the center, protecting the center, preventing any pass from getting through. So, but the way that happens, like for me, that is the objective. The objective is preventing any pass through the center, but the method is chain defending. And as you can see, this is from the very recent match between Galatasaray and Manchester United. So let's see. I want you to focus on the two Manchester United forwards. Let's see how they act, how they behave, and try to notice a pattern. Try to notice if you can see that this is something they have worked on in training because that's what you need to focus on. Does this look like a pattern? Does this look like a repetitive behavior? So let's look at what's ha what happens here. So look at this player, I think it's Bruno, maybe I'm wrong. When the ball comes to the left side at centre back, Bruno presses him. But behind him, I think this is Martial, Martial is protecting the ball from getting to the defensive midfielder. But as soon as the ball goes to the right side at centre back, Martial is the one who goes to press him and Bruno is the one preventing this pass towards the middle. Because the objective, as we mentioned before, the objective for Manchester United here is to stop Galatasaray progressing through the centre. The worst case scenario over here for United would be that if this centre back, if I move on, if this centre back manages to play a pass here, right through the middle, let me create an arrow here, right through from here to this player here. That is what United want to prevent, that is what cannot happen. So that, that's why when one player presses, when, when the ball goes over to his side, that player presses and the other one goes goes behind him to give some sort of a cover. Okay, and this happens every time the ball is switched because these are responsibilities that players have and they have worked on this countless, countless times in training. Again, as you can see, Bruno is the one now who steps up. Martial goes behind to give cover and it keeps happening again and again. Until, of course, Galatasaray changed the point of their attack. Thank you for watching. That's all. I hope you enjoyed this little clip. I hope um, I was able to help with your understanding. And yes, if you like this, please give me any feedback, anything you believe I can improve, any specific concept you want me to talk about, please do let me know. Thank you.